I'm, I'm obviously I'm a giant fan. That that style bender fight, how crazy was that? Really crazy. Dude, man. the way he responded to that loss is better than anybody ever. The dude yeah. shows up at the press conference with a fucking fur coat like a king. <laughs> with his dope ass watch on and just says he got me. You know? I mean he basically said right. the hunter is now the hunted. I'm coming after him. I'm gonna find a way to beat that dude. I was on my way to beating him, and he got yeah. me. And he was honest about all of it, about how the Pereira uh, landed a bunch of calf kicks early on, and it fucked up his leg and Perennial couldn't move right. Nerve. Yeah, yeah. It's a those calf kicks have changed the fucking game. Yeah. I can't believe. Like, I was talking to Michael Bisping, who was UFC champion, and he said that literally he got through his entire career before the calf kick came along. Which is yeah. so wild when you think about that. Right. I mean, he got through his whole career before the calf kick emerged. Which is insane to think of. That this one area of the leg to kick, the only person that had ever really done it before that was like Benson Henderson was pretty good at doing it. And, you know, Mighty Mouse had done it uh, to Henry Cejudo. And it happened to Michael Chandler and Bellator. But it wasn't like... A staple like everybody had to do it and now right. everyone has to do it and it just takes like one or two shots and your leg is fucked yeah um and with the stoppage too on the this Izzy fight I thought you know it wasn't a bad stoppage but at the same time I'd like it, it was impressive how Izzy said um, I, I, in, in the moment, I thought it was a bad stoppage, but then my, my, my coach and my manager, they said it was fine, and I trust them, and so it's all good. Well, I don't think Pajera was going to stop. He had more time. Izzy was stationary, and Pajera was going to hit him with some big shots. We don't need to see Izzy right. with his eyes rolled back behind his head, flat right. out, unconscious. I, I, I think it was a good stoppage. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree that it, that it was a good stoppage, and I could see where Izzy would be, like, up, upset about it. Is all I could see where he would be upset about it too, and, and I could see where other fights have gone on longer. Right, and they have, but it's a subjective call. And Mark Goddard is one of the very best in the world. For sure, he's top two or three. He might be number two. You know, I think Herb Dean's number one. You know, and you know, Big John McCarthy doesn't ref anymore. He was always in that same spot. It's like yeah. there's a few guys that are the elite of the elite of referees, and Mark Goddard is surely right there. Yeah. Very few bad calls or even questionable calls. I don't think I've, I've ever seen him make a bad call. Right. To your point, I think that Izzy just handled that. Like a, a fucking king. Yeah. Like a king. Yeah. You know, and uh, he was saying, bring back Steve Mazzagatti. <laughs> <laughs> Because Steve Mazzagatti was a referee that was, like, famous for letting fights go way too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. That was, like, in Brazil. The, uh, the, was that him? I don't know. I don't know which fight you're yeah, talking there, about. Yeah, there, there was some really, really bad one. It there was, was some. Really... Well, I think that was Mario Yamasaki. Who yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't do them for the UFC anymore either. But uh, Mazzagatti was kind of famous for that for right. whatever reason, whether it's justified or not. But it was just hilarious yeah. that Izzy was saying, bring back Steve Mazzagatti. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went on Andrew Schultz's podcast on Monday. Yeah. So he was on Schultz's podcast Monday. They were drinking, having fun, and, you know, he handled it very, very well. Yeah, Ben Askren has, has handled defeat very well, Yes, too. he did. Yeah, I mean, especially that one to Jorge Masvidal, because that right. was a crazy one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, there's, you know... It's fucking the game they play, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, Izzy knocked a lot of fucking people unconscious. Yeah. Izzy, you know, put it on everybody in the division. And the thing is, like, when you are a specialist, like, if your specialty is wrestling and then all of a sudden you're facing an Olympic gold medalist, you're like, fuck. Because, like, there's people that are better than you at your specialty. Right. And at least on paper, Alex Pajera is one of the best kickboxers of all time i still think izzy is technically a better striker because izzy is just so he's so clever and sophisticated and he doesn't have the kind of power that pajera has but yeah. pajera is very technically good too 
He just has a different thing that he relies on. He just has that nuclear option, yeah. and he relies on that a lot, and it paid off. And it paid off with him against Izzy twice. And one time he won by a decision, which if I go back and watch that kickboxing fight, I do not agree with that decision. And the second fight with kickboxing, it was a kind of shady situation because Izzy was winning, and Izzy had him fucked up, and they gave him a standing eight count, which they can do yeah. in kickboxing. And they allowed him to recover, and then he went back and he knocked out Izzy. And then this one, down 3-1, going into the fifth, and he puts it on him. Yeah, that was some Usman shit. Listen, man, he's it, it was more it was more dramatic, honestly. The well, now I shouldn't say that because the Usman thing was last minute. Leon right. lands that perfect head kick. Yeah. It was one shot. This was you know like is he gonna get him? Is he gonna? <laughs> oh my God! Is right. he's hurt? He's hurt! He's hurt! And for Pajera, I mean, that was what a Cinderella story. I mean, yeah. that guy came from kickboxing, was the only two division consec. He was c uh, holding two division champion simultaneously. So he was the 185 pound champion and the 205 pound champion simultaneously, and was knocking people into another dimension in kickboxing. You watch his highlight reel; it's fucking sensational. He's putting together a pretty sweet highlight reel in the UFC. Oh, too. my God. He's a monster. He yeah. really is a monster. He's so big for the weight class, which really wears you out, that, that weight cut. That's a big right. weight cut. And with wrestling, he's going to have issues because he's not a grappler. That's not his forte. And right. he's getting better at grappling. But that was when Izzy takes you down and Izzy controls you on the ground. And Izzy's not – that's not his forte either. They, right. You know, now I didn't one. I wondered like, was someone going to shoot? Someone going to try to take it, take it to the ground? But to see Izzy do it, well, to see Pajera do it first, he did it at the end of the second, and then to see Izzy do it to him and control him and beat him up, I was like, wow. I mean, he had his back. He was pummeling him. Yep, the hooks. Yeah, man, it was it was a wild fight, and for sure they're going to fight again. I mean, yeah. I hope so. Right. I don't know if they go straight to it, but the thing is, like, Pereira, like, his wrestling is going to be an issue. Like, he's got to really figure out a way to – but that was an issue with Izzy, too. Early. Yeah.